Do you ever find yourself struggling with decision making or feeling like you're stuck in a rut with your ideas? What if I told you there was a skill that could help you think better? Yes, you heard it right. Thinking better is a skill and today we're gonna explore how to improve it. In this video, I'll be sharing 5 ways to think better, which will help you challenge your assumptions, ask better questions, and embrace uncertainty. So stay tuned and learn how to master the art of thinking better. Let's get started. Have you ever heard of the phrase, thinking better before? Simply put, thinking better is the process of improving the quality of your thoughts. It involves being more intentional and reflective about how you think. So what does thinking better look like in action? For example, let's say you're faced with a problem at work. Thinking better might mean that instead of rushing to a solution, you take a step back and examine your assumptions. Or it could mean that you seek out diverse perspectives to gain a broader understanding of the issue. By thinking better, you'll be able to approach problems and decision making with a more critical and analytical mindset. This in turn can lead to better outcomes and more efficient use of your time and resources. Now that we know what thinking better means, let's explore some actionable steps that you can take to improve your thinking. Here are 5 ways to think better. Number 1. Challenge your assumptions. Our assumptions can sometimes be limiting and can prevent us from considering different possibilities. By examining our assumptions and challenging them, we can open ourselves up to new ideas and perspectives. Ask yourself, what if my assumption isn't true? Or what if there's another way to approach this? Another way to check your assumptions is to reverse them and consider how the opposite assumption could be justified. Doing these exercises can help you consider different angles and find more creative solutions. Number 2. Ask better questions. Asking thoughtful and probing questions can help us gain a deeper understanding of a problem or situation. By asking questions that challenge assumptions, we can uncover new insights and possibilities. It can also help us to get a better grasp of the complexities of an issue and identify areas where more information is needed. You can find an inspiring set of questions to begin with by searching for Osborne's checklist. Number 3. Seek out diverse perspectives. When we surround ourselves with people who think like us, we run the risk of limiting our own perspective. Seeking out diverse perspectives can help us broaden our thinking and challenge our assumptions. If you are unable to ask others directly, you can still consider how another person, such as a neighbor, basketball player, or anyone else you can imagine, would approach the topic or solve the problem by asking yourself. Number 4. Stay curious. Curiosity is the driving force behind learning and discovery. It's the desire to understand and explore the world around us. By cultivating this mindset, we can approach situations with a sense of wonder and eagerness to learn. Staying curious helps us to remain open-minded and constantly learning, and can help us approach situations with a fresh perspective. A creative exercise is to ask oneself how an approach or solution from a newly discovered area can be transferred to another. For example, if you're learning about gardening, you could ask yourself whether any aspects of the approach can be applied to your work. Number 5. Listen actively. Active listening involves truly hearing and understanding what someone else is saying. It means focusing on the speaker's words, tone, and body language, and responding in a way that shows that you've understood their message. This can include nodding and asking questions, but the most important part is to summarize the speaker's statements briefly at regular intervals. This allows the speaker to see what has been understood and to quickly correct any misunderstandings. At the same time, as a listener, you gain certainty and also a short break from listening. By practicing active listening, we can become better at empathizing and understanding other people's perspectives. This can improve our relationships with others, whether it's in our personal or professional lives. 
it can also help us to be more effective communicators, as we'll be better able to understand and respond to the needs and concerns of those we interact with. Thinking better is not just about being smarter or more knowledgeable, it's about being intentional and reflective about how we think. It's about being open to new ideas and perspectives, and being willing to challenge our assumptions and biases. Remember, the power of thinking better lies within each one of us. All we need to do is take the first step and start practicing. With patience, persistence, and a willingness to learn, you can master the art of thinking better and become a more effective problem solver and decision maker. Okay, now that you've learned about the importance of thinking better and the actionable steps you can take to improve your thinking, it's time to put these ideas into practice. Don't just let this knowledge sit in the back of your mind. Take action and start thinking better today. To get started, pick one or two of the ways to think better that resonated with you the most and incorporate them into your daily routine. Whether it's challenging your assumptions, asking better questions, or seeking out diverse perspectives, every small step can make a big difference. As a bonus, we recommend checking out the book Critical Thinking, Logic and Problem Solving by Big Rocks Thinking, which provides even more practical tips and tools to improve your thinking skills. For more details, check the link in the description below. Also, don't miss our video about the success formula for setting and achieving your goals, which can help you achieve your goals by using critical thinking and practical techniques. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video here on the Tree of Life channel.